Okay, so we're gonna replace the fuel filter in our water separator. Okay, now what you're gonna need is very simple. Obviously, you're gonna need to remove the top. Okay, and before, before you do anything else, this is the tool or the piece of equipment that you're gonna to need to remove that, okay? Now, I like to use two of them. The reason why, this collar, okay, sometimes it's a little too tight, and what happens when you use just one, I don't know if you can tell from there, but it does tend to bend. So if you use two of them, it's actually a lot stronger, lets you remove that a lot easier. But before you remove it, okay, or start to loosen it, there is a little drain valve right underneath here, okay? Flip the switch, diesel will start to come out of there. Now you don't need to drain it completely. Let the diesel drop probably just right around here, okay? The reason why you do that, so you don't make a mess when you remove the filter and you don't make a mess when you install the filter, okay? okay so here we go. We're about to remove our, our collar, our filter. And again, you use two depending on who tightened it last. It's always nicer to have a little more leverage. Okay, get those removed. At this point, now you can simply just use simply just use one. That's pretty much it. Once you get to that point, you can literally just start twisting and turning. Okay, with your hand. There we go. Simply remove that. Here's our old filter. Now when you pull this out or pull it up and out, you are gonna have some diesel that's gonna kinda splash back, so slowly, slowly. There you go. Let's get that cleaned up. We're gonna get we're gonna prepare our second, our new filter, I should say. And I'll show you how to do that in a sec. Now this is typically how far I'd like to, I like to drain the diesel before I install a new filter. And what I like to do is simply just clean the edges, clean the, the outside of the bowl. And again, this will help you so that when you install your new filter in, you're not gonna get a big splash of diesel literally spilling everywhere. Okay, so drain it, clean it, and you can install it. Okay, so now we've got our fuel filter and our water separator, okay? We've got the new seal or O-ring that comes with it. Now you're gonna add diesel to it, and the reason why you wanna add diesel, you, you don't wanna start the engine when you're trying to start it, okay? The engines now are a lot more delicate than, let's say, the old Series 60s or the old Cummins N14. So again, add diesel to it. You don't have to fill it up all the way, but just simply add diesel, just enough that it's visible. This is actually pretty good, because again, diesel comes in through the lines here diesel inlet, diesel out to your fuel water separator. So again, just enough diesel. That way when you start the engine, it's a nice smooth start. And again, that's just the easy process on a fuel water separator for a DD15. Or this is a Davco 482.